welcome to my channel. I am not going to be doing a bunch of intro talk today. I am doing cheetah print hair and this hair stressed me out. So let's see how it turns out. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Let's get right into this video. Hi guys, this is Bradley Worthington. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my channel. I am Bradley Worthington. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my channel. What's up y'all? So we back with another video. As you can see the hair in this video is very yellow and I can't do yellow blonde hair. Uh, so what I did was before I put it on the sewing machine, I apologize. I thought that I was filming the part where I did the preliminary toning with purple shampoo and a little uh, bleach mixed with it. Uh, unfortunately, I was thinking that I was recording and I wasn't actually recording. So as you can see here, the hair is fairly lighter than uh, what you saw in the very first clip. And as always, I am simply double wefting and making this wig on the sewing machine based on my client's measurements. Uh, at this point for me, it's a no-brainer. I literally make a wig, especially a bob wig. I can make it in 20 or 30 minutes. Uh, it's very simple, very easy to do. I will be releasing a full how to make a wig on a sewing machine video very soon. Uh, so stay tuned for that. But I will not be doing a bunch of uh, talking in this video. I want you guys to just watch and I'll be back with you shortly. my favorite part I really love toning hair it just does something to my spirit like <laughs> I don't know what it is but I love toning hair so what I'm using to tone the remaining yellow out of this hair is simply Wella color I love Wella color you can get it at Sally's that's where I always get it from and it's a 12a and a 10 in and I'm mixing it equal parts uh, and I'm using uh, don't kill me but I'm using a filthy volume developer because I did not want this hair to turn dark because you have to be very careful with toner because uh, sometimes it will tone it too dark so of course I'm applying it to the hair while the hair is wet and I'm going to let it process for about uh, I think I'll end up leaving it on for about 40 minutes you just kind of have to watch it because blonde hair does typically tend to be porous meaning that any type of toner that you place on the hair is going to grab it immediately so I didn't want this hair to turn gray I wanted it to be more white than gray so that's why I'm using a 10 in in combination with a 12 a instead of using a double ash because uh, as you can see right now the hair is not gray it's more of a white beige and that's exactly what i wanted
we are down to the highlight of this video so as you can see I am spraying a little got to be glued spray to tame off flyaways as I'm sectioning off this hair so that I can start uh, putting the black color on the hair for the leopard print so as you can see I already put the the black color on and it's really not hard at this point in the video I was making it to be more difficult than it actually was so this is the bottom row thankfully so as you know I get further to the top you'll see it like look a little bit better <laughs> so you know all it is is simply just painting C's in different directions on the hair and then filling the inside of the C's with a little color that gives it that uh, leopard print look so um and in retrospect i know what now what i need to do differently next time instead of just separating the hair i'm just going to do tracks you know and paint the leopard print on each track individually or maybe one track placed at the top and then do the lace on top of it so it makes it a whole lot easier because with this like how the hair is laying it made it more difficult to you know make it translate as leopard spots exactly how i wanted it to but again it gets better as the video goes on so just keep watching So as you can see, it looks a whole lot better uh, now than it did at the very bottom because I kind of made sense of, you know, what I was doing and I wasn't at this point overthinking it as I always do. So it was no longer stressing me out. I was beginning to have fun with it and you can kind of see the transition and how it translate as exactly what I wanted it to translate as and that's leopard spots.
now that that's over, let's get into the other side. And on this side, what I'm going to be simply doing is doing a little ombre effect with some soft pink on uh, this side and simply painting it on. And I want you to notice how I'm applying the color. I am applying it vertically, not horizontally, because in my experience, applying color horizontal it just makes it harder to blend lines of demarcation and I really hate a balayage or an ombre color that you can distinctly tell where one color starts and where the other or one color stops and the other one starts so I really like to use a vertical application method to apply my color and simply what I do is I kind of fan it out to make sure that you know there are no lines of demarcation I'm now rinsing it out while the other side is still processing if you know anything about color, then you know that if you put dark color on really light hair and you have not filled that hair, it will pull the base color. So if your black is a violet base or a blue base, you'll have like a bluish color on the hair instead of black. So I'm letting it process a little bit longer to prevent that from happening. my model show you the little test strand that I did before I actually just went to painting you know leopard on this hair I had to make sure that it was actually going to work out like how I was thinking in my mind and indeed it did I was really enthused about the outcome so I want you guys to continue watching this video after you watch this video subscribe to my channel check out my other videos like this video comment on this video and we'll see you in the next video on a Friday